Thanks. 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 Like a uh, big thing for me is not to get comfortable either. Like I, I know nothing will be will be given to me. I gotta earn every uh, everything here, so I gotta earn uh, playing time and all that. So mindset for me, uh, like I know I gotta work extremely hard here and and push myself and and well, like the push the other uh, goalies as well, and they'll push me too. We'll all try to get better here. Did you make any uh, adjustments this summer in terms of? I think yeah, maybe not so much how I train. Obviously, you, you try to have a good summer and put the work in, but uh, I think it's more of like a mindset thing, kind of knowing uh, more what to expect, having a little bit more experience of what it is to go through uh, like a full season uh, in the NHL. The, with the schedule you play every other night, you 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 got to find a way to really uh, like, like a short memory, both with the good games and bad games. You gotta like, okay, take with uh, w what you need to to get better, but you gotta l learn, like, put that behind you pretty quick and move forward. How would you feel? Training involves like mental coaches and stuff like that. Do you have? Do you talk to anybody like that? Or yeah, like, I or think uh, you got your team like uh, around you. Uh, usually, it's just people close to me that I feel like I can trust and kind of. Sometimes it's just me talking, just spewing pretty much, and they have to listen to that. But uh, obviously they, they'll like know, because they know how to like calm me down and they know what I need if it's, if they gotta like push me a little bit or if they gotta like take a little bit step step back. And uh, I think you, you find uh, you have though that like inner circle uh, with people you know you can lean on. You had an interesting perspective on Matt Mitchkoff that you know maybe the other guys don't. When he's when you're watching him come in on you or just kind of set up the offensive zone, what are you seeing that maybe makes him different than other guys? No, uh, I mean he's. Uh, you could tell he has a lot of confidence. Like he he he'll uh, try some stuff that uh, most guys w won't. Uh, I know in the scrimmages we had here a little bit before camp he. He, he scored some nifty uh, <laughs> goals on me, so it's kind of like, all right, I got to be, be ready for, for, for everything here when he comes in. Uh, I think, you know, Todd, how, how has your relationship kind of developed with him? Were you guys able to chat and talk over the summer? Uh, I think uh, uh, I know he's been here for most of it, uh, training. Uh, um, I, like, we, we have... It's fun. He came in like late last season, but I think he's, you know, he's, he's a good guy. Like I think yeah, to work with him will be like fun. You know, he, he, we have a little bit uh, with his size. You know, he'll he'll play a little bit of a different way. But it's fun to see. You know, like uh, like always with with other goalies, they they all have their like little niches that they're very good at, and you try to look at them and see, okay, is there something here that I can pick up on and, and uh, like put into my game? And I think, like, I feel like we can have a good conversation too. Like, okay, I, this is what I'm feeling in these situations and you just try to help each other. And um, also just with the competition out there on the ice also, you want to be like, you want to, every drill, you try to win every drill, every, every game here in the scrimmage. And, just, I think that's what pushes each other to uh, get better. Did you, did you feel worn down at the end of last season? And, and was there any concern that had you guys actually made the playoffs, you would have been a little, a little fatigued even for the grind ahead? No, I think, um, I think obviously for me, I was maybe uh, a little bit inexperienced in how it goes. Like I said, with with the schedule, how it works, it's. It's different from what I've been having before, but for me, I think it's just something you gotta get used to. You gotta find ways. Okay, how do I deal with this? So uh, I think it's it's a great experience, and like for for me, for a whole team to kind of be uh, um, be a part of uh, of a team that's pushing for for a playoff spot. You can feel how how, how tight the race is and how. 
um, the, the bar gets it gets higher and higher as the season goes along, and I think that's something we uh, going into this this year like we'll, we'll have with us uh, like especially the the young guys here on the team. Going back to in the other day and he said that you know you guys have each other's numbers and he really looks up to you as a goalie do you feel like you're kind of stepping into that leadership position with the young goalies that are coming into the flyers uh, i think maybe i don't see it i still see myself as a young guy you know but obviously i know how it is coming in here like you just try to be a a good person you know and try to be uh, help each other if if someone needs something and just it's I know how much when I came over here just getting to talk some of with the the guys who who had been here a little bit longer uh, I, I know that that helps a lot and I think yeah obviously that's something it's small small things but they, they can go a long way Ivan Fedotov you obviously now have a year under your belt in the NHL level out of the two of you guys you're I guess the more experienced NHL goalie but is it a weird dynamic where you know you are the more experienced NHL goalie, but he's older, he has significant pro experience, just not in this league? Uh, yeah, I don't really know. Like obviously he's done a lot of things uh, back home in Russia, but it's it's kind of the same for me when I come over. I, I like they say I'm a rookie. I I played three four years in pro before I got to to America, so I know. Uh, just with the age you get older you feel more confident and um, I think he uh, I don't think he he's like uh, not confident about coming in here and playing so I don't I don't think that will be an issue and like I said for us just it's it's I know how important it is like you you'll have your little group uh, you're you're the team within the team you're the goalies and the goalie coach like we need to have each other's backs because like through the ups and downs of a year, you know, these are the guys you, you can like, they, they'll understand you the most. So I think it's very important. And I think we have uh, a good relationship in that aspect. Is there, like, is there a language gap between you guys? How do you guys make that work? I don't, I honestly, I don't honestly don't know <laughs> no. how, how well he speaks English. He, he speaks pretty good, like a lot better than, than maybe I expect at first. And obviously he has been here um, over the summer. So that's like also very good that we don't have that. Like uh, we can talk and we'll, we understand each other very well.